One of my childhood heroes was Joseph Weizenbaum. I hope you won't think it's nerdy, but uh, he was a computer engineer who was very famous in the early 1960s. He did a project of creating an artificially intelligent machine called Eliza. Agent Pablo, um, I'm afraid I might be an inadequate artist. Is it because you were afraid you might be an inadequate artist that you came to me? Yeah, I'm afraid I may be a bad artist without knowing that I'm a bad artist. You seem to be quite positive. I feel very negative. You say you feel very negative? Like, what if I'm, what if I'm not a good artist and others are laughing at me for being a bad artist? Do you think it's likely that you are not a good artist and others are laughing at you for being a bad artist? I, I think it's possible. Can you elaborate on that? I want to be truly self-aware. Did you find that convincing? a satirical take on a Rogerian uh, psychotherapist and basically it did things like, as you can see, reflect back what the person was saying. But the weird thing was that people started to confide in the machine. Joseph was a bit disturbed about the way that people and the media and even psychiatrists reacted to his work. Basically, they predicted that computers could be intelligent and they could replace that real therapists. Interesting. He wrote a book called Computer Power and Human Reason that I'm reading at the moment. So in the book, Joe talks about how the computer is a natural culmination or um, tool embodiment of the systems and process and rational way of thinking that was started over 400 years ago. Because gradually in human society we tend to adore systems and what we think of as rationality to the extent that we discard or we just treat as entertainment any other form of expression. And by thinking of human beings as systems, as societies as systems, as art as systems, Therefore, we quite naturally think a computer can do anything that a human can do. Morning, some really peaceful birds who appreciate the quiet and just embrace the sunlight. Ultimately, what people do is ruled by their imagination. What Joseph said was that if we believe that we're going to have something like artificially intelligent computers, then perhaps we will. And what he said was there was a danger in getting computers to do everything. There are certain things we should never create machines to do. We inherited our personality and our emotions and our enthusiasms because of our upbringing and the ideas of a different age. Computers are a product of rationalism, rules and systems. So if they're to become intelligent, what are their personalities going to be like?